Sup, 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 my name is Rio for the Yu-Gi-Oh! accounts. Welcome to Tech Tuesday, your Tuesday evening discussion video of single cards, I guess. From terrible at intros. Let's make this happen. So, this card comes from Raging Tempest. This is Bewildering Wind. It's TCG name. It's yet to be revealed, but you should be paying very close attention to this card right here. There has not been a card like this on Tech Tuesday I've been this excited to talk about, even though I don't sound excited because I haven't had coffee yet, <laughs> to really talk about in the past while because this thing is fantastic. So, if you ever wanted a better breakthrough skill or fiendish chain, this is it, in my opinion. You target one face up spe a special summon monster on the field. Its effects are negated. Also, half its original attack. If your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck while this card's in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you could set this card but bash it when it leaves the field. So, a few things going on here. First is, you can only target special summon monsters, which is fine because every time that usually a monster is going to activate its effect, it's going to be special summon that, you know, is more important in the gate. And on top of that, it also loses attack points. That attack point loss is permanent. It's not going to just randomly regenerate its attack points. No, it's a permanently split. So alternative dragon comes out, spirit dragon comes out, crystal wing comes out, and you hit this with it. You nullify the effects, and it loses the attack. Utopia lightning gets stopped, and about 20 other things get stopped. I'm at footage actually playing in the background. I know it's like, it's it's nuts. I'm, I'm using footage from YGO Pro in this video to show you what happened to me when I played against it. How it stopped me. Just to, you know, give you an example. I still pulled out the win, but this is just, this is just basically in the way. You play that card demise.deck and you got a discard card, you can discard this because it'll come right back. Day special from the extra deck. It gets set to the field and then you can activate it again. So what about the big question that everyone's going to ask? How good is it against meta decks? Extremely. It's extremely good. There's no way of saying otherwise because the extra decks are uh, the extra decks, the meta decks. Sorry, I haven't had coffee. The meta decks are the ones who are going to special from the extra deck the most. They were the ones who were going to abuse that secondary effect for you. I know there's only so much room to run so many cards, but with the new Foolish Burial that allows you to send spells and traps, you can even send this and then use it to recycle back. This card also combos extremely well with Cypher and Lord Omega. And we know there's about 4,000 cards that combo well with Cypher and Lord Omega. Don't, but you don't need to tell us, Ryu, a thousand times about the thousand cards that, you know, cycle good with Cypher and Lord Omega, but this really does. Because you can put it back in your graveyard, and you can do it all over again. Which is great. You protect that Cypher and Lord Omega. You protect that investment. You protect that time and effort you put in to bring out your boss monster. Cypher and Lord Omega just got more powerful. It's kind of ridiculous. This card, cutting attack points, may not seem like a big thing. But if you take a monster with 3,000 or more, they're going to get cut down to a point that it's going to hurt like a bitch. It really does affect how, you know, how much attack points is put into a monster's attack. It really does affect how much damage you can output compared to what your opponent can do. I love this card. I think it's pretty much one of the best generic cards we've received in a while. That's not super overpowered or super broken. We'll have to go on the ban list at some point. I think it's a really balanced card that is exactly what we needed when it comes to a new fiendish chain or breakthrough skill breakthrough skill is still great fiendish is still great but this is just fantastic because you get two uses out of it and both of those uses will drop your opponent's monsters attack points but i want to know what you guys think not just what i think i want to know what you guys think about that obviously there'll be footage that I have played in the video for as long as that's going to play and I will see you guys on the next video as always. Make sure to subscribe for more and drop a like and leave a comment because it helps grow in the algorithm that is YouTube. Just a thing. But thank you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, peace.